Hey guys, it's Tina. I just got back from day five, I guess, with the marathon training, our third run. Um, took Sunny, and this time Brian went with me. Austin had a headache today and just wasn't feeling up to it, so he stayed home. Um, not a lot to report on it. My shins were kind of giving me a little bit of trouble at the beginning of the run. Got better as we went along. I will tell you, I haven't eaten a lot today, and I definitely noticed it in my run. Um, didn't eat most of the morning because I was out running around. Got uh, lunch this afternoon with my daughter. Came home and went running within half an hour of eating. Definitely not the way to go. Um, I should have waited about another half hour, but I still made it through fine. I just noticed I kind of got a side cramp a little ways into it. The other thing I noticed um, is picking your route is really, really important. Today we decided Brian had to go get um, a couple things from the store anyway, so we figured, okay, well, we'll just run down to the store, uh, take a little bit of a longer loop to the store, and it'll give us our two mile. However, this route crossed us over an overpass on the freeway and had a little bit of a scare when Sunny, who's you know a six-month-old golden retriever puppy, decided to jump up on top of the overpass of the freeway. And luckily she was doing it because she just wanted to run along the top of the banister. However, it scared both of us so badly that the timing and everything for our run just got thrown off and we really had to be careful with her. So that was our kind of scare for today. Won't be taking that route again. Mostly, not just because of that and the traffic, but mostly because it was a lot of exhaust from the cars. So what I've also discovered is you do want to train in every kind of area. However, you also want to pick your areas carefully. Um, don't put yourself in a position where you're going to be breathing in a lot of car exhaust and a lot of fumes that you know you don't really need in your chest. Um, so my chest is a little sore now that we got home from all the exhaust fumes that we had on the way. Um, ended up walking home. Uh, the route was two and a half miles there, and then um, we took a shorter, more direct path back. So it was about another, um, I don't know, 1.8. So we put in almost five miles today. So that was kind of nice to be able to really just take a long walk and cool down and uh, work out any kinks in our muscles and soreness. So that's been nice too. Um, we'll tell you with the scoliosis, my back's been giving me a little bit of trouble from the running. I'm hoping to be able to strengthen that on the recovery days and um, on our rest days, just doing some back strengthening exercises as well. So that seems to be working good too. Um, as far as anything else, everything's been going good. Don't have a whole lot to report today for you guys. Um, you know, just taking a day to do our run and relax and just enjoy the day together. Like I said, I talked to you guys about balance um, and I'm trying to just really maintain that balance for us and with the family. Um, you know, I took my daughter, we went and saw my nephew play soccer today. It was kind of funny to watch a bunch of three-year-olds run around in circles, like their airplanes flying in the air and every now and then kick a ball. But, you know, we went and spent some time with family this morning and my daughter and I went and ran a couple of errands this afternoon together. So we got to spend some time and have lunch together. And then, you know, tonight just relax with the family and have a good time. And so it's nice to be able to do that. Um, I do want to do a post this week to you guys, um, talking about working from home just because a lot of people think it's perfect and it's the way to go. And, you know, everybody wants to work from home and have a job where you can do that. There's some difficulties that come too. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about working from home and how to make it work for you. Um, you know, because there is a blessing in being able to work from home and anybody can do it. You know, it doesn't have to be as a beach body coach. Anybody can work from home doing anything you want. Um, it just kind of adds another factor in there with trying to find that balance and to uh, to still maintain that balance in your life. So it's like any other job, but um, it's it's got perks along with the, the difficulties that come with it. So I want to talk to you guys about, a little bit about the later this week. Um, other than that, just keeping you updated on the training. Looks good. Also, I was very pleased this week um, to see that the weight is moving again. So that was one of my goals for, for the training, to be able to eat normal food. And actually, I've been eating more carbs simply because of the runs. But um, I'm still noticing the weight coming off. So that's kind of nice, too. And I know Austin's been doing really well. He just, for some reason today, had a headache in the heat that we've got going on right here. So anyway, uh, keeping you guys updated. I promise you guys I would. So keeping you updated on everything, and we'll put the training schedule for this week up. I'll talk to you guys in a couple of days. Bye-bye.